Hi everyone and welcome to our next interview in our interview series of our beautiful sponsors and today I have the pleasure of interviewing Annie Noon from Photo Force Photography and Annie has been an amazing, 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 much valued supporter and contributor by way of her gorgeous photography of our events for five, we just realised it's been at least five years. So Annie, first and foremost, thank you so much for your contributions to the Women of Influence events and everything that you do for us and our community. We're so, so grateful for you. My pleasure. I love the Women of Influence events. I really look forward to them and I always have a wonderful table of, of you know, nine or ten women who absolutely love it too. Um, so, yeah, we look forward to when they can restart. Yeah, Annie, we love it. Your table's always front and centre because we need to give our beautiful photographer, you know, prize position. So Close to the stage, the yeah. And um, you always have such an, you know, energetic table and you're always gifting your, your, your beautiful guests and we always love having you there and welcoming you. Thank you also for taking the time out to speak with me today. I'm really keen to get on with the interview. And My pleasure. Lovely to see you, Jodie. Yeah, it's lovely to see you too. And just to hear about what's been happening in your world for the last couple of months, it certainly has been, you know, a testing time and a, and a very un- a certain time and it still is. Like we're still... Nothing, nothing here, like any of us have ever seen before. It's just unbelievable, isn't it? So yeah. before we get started, obviously you're a photographer, but can you just explain to, you know, everyone listening a little bit about your business and line of work in more detail? Sure. Well, I, I've been a working photographer now for well over 25 years. Um, I have worked all over the place. I was based in Sydney and I was based in London before that. But I've been on the Gold Coast now for quite some time. My studio is at Burley Heads. And I really do all sorts of photography. I like to think of myself as having many hats because I love photographing people and doing headshots, corporate headshots, personal branding images. But I also love photographing products. Um, I love doing architecture and interiors, Airbnb properties. I photograph restaurants and food. I I love shooting fashion. Um, When I was based in Sydney, I used to do catalogues for David Jones and I did um, quite a few shoots for Vogue magazine. So um, I have lots of experience in that fashion world. Um, But I think the other thing I'm known for is photographing special events, Um, balls, charity events, the Women of Influence events. Um, So those I'm missing at the moment and I'm hoping... At some stage in the future, we'll see them. We'll see them come back. So, you are such an amazing lady. You've had such an incredible experience in your industry. is is, is remarkable. And I guess it's really, you know, these times would be would have been really tough for your for, for what you do. You know, the events and things Absolutely. like that. How yeah. many people have been affected by this? So, one of my first questions would be, what what have the, your challenges been throughout? this time I imagine that you've had some big challenges I have because I think you know photography is what was one of the things that just stopped for me because um, I do photograph a lot of events and all of those events were cancelled I mean I had many many events booked in um, that they all got cancelled obviously Um, and people were nervous to to do things out you know out and about so a lot of my photo shoots got cancelled as well um thankfully they're now starting to come back so i'm getting people booking in for headshots and corporate images and branding images because people want to get out there and start promoting themselves again and maybe looking for a new look now um and the thing about uh, when I work with people is my favorite lens is my telephoto lens so that's easy to keep the social distancing up because that's my favorite lens for, for photographing faces so I mean the first thing I did was I sat down and I wrote lists of things that I've been wanting to get around to doing uh, with my business um, and that really was fixing things up revamping sorting things out having huge throwouts all of that sort of stuff so that work's all been done. And so now my studio is all back together again and freshly painted and looking good. So Beautiful. Great. So I guess it's been a time of, you know, a little bit of cleansing, a little bit of reflection, revamping, yeah. like you said, and yeah. just, re, re, you know, re-energising, ready for now that we're out of lockdown. That's right. It's bigger yeah. and better business as usual, yes. right? And I tried to do, um, okay, what can I do internally for myself as well? And with myself and my husband, David, we've both been eating really sensibly. Nothing naughty has come into this house since this whole lockdown thing started. Um, And I've been doing, you know, a big walk every morning. First thing out of bed, down the beachfront, 
work walk for an hour and i've lost nine kilos so oh, that's, a, well, that's a good thing to, awesome that's a good thing to have got rid of Most people have gone the other way so it's i know oh, I've, you. Lost, I've lost nine and david has lost 15 he's done really well i have another 10 to Ooh. lose so that will be the next target i guess yeah incredible well done mm. so what has a typical day looked like for you during the um quarantine period well as i said the fir first thing is is get up and, and do that walk with, without fail. I, I missed it one day when it was pouring with rain, but other, otherwise I, I've, I've done it every day. And then, and then as I said, we, we wrote full scat lists of things we wanted to get around to doing now that we had time on our hands. And so we've been working through those lists. So we've yet to start in the garden. I have three quarters of an acre here of um, grounds, uh, some of which is wild, like a, and, and, and some bits are like a rainforest, but some of it, does look really good you know lots of beautiful planting so into there's the house, so many like, silver linings such as this one, right? there's so many silver linings yeah. in, a, in a time like this that's right and david had a very big birthday about one of those ones with the o on the end i won't tell you the number at the front but it was a big hey, number david. and i thought well, what can we do you know I, I can't we can't have a party or anything but we ended up having four days of events and had an absolute blast so the first thing I did was a, a surprise Zoom party with all of our friends who live overseas. And that's, you know, David and I spent four years living in London together. And we have a circle of friends from those days who now live in Italy, France, wow. States, England and Ireland. And so I brought all of those people back with us in the room, in the virtual room. Um, they all had, I, I made them all come up with a story about David, you know, about when the, how they met him and things. And it was just delightful. and a lot of those people hadn't seen each other for many, many years either. So it wow. brought those friendships back together, which was wonderful. The next day we had a street gathering, which was organized by my street. I live in a little cul-de-sac. There are only eight houses. We are all very friendly. Um, we kept our social distancing, but we, we were out in the street. We, you know, we all placed our chairs in a great big circle. Uh, David got together with two of the other gentlemen in the street and they played the guitars and, and sang songs and we all sang along and the girls did a bit of dancing. There was a cake and it was, it really was like a party, but you know, following all the, all the, all the boundaries in that, you know, there was no hugging and no touching kind of thing. Um, but it was like a party. So that was just delightful. Um, and then the following night was another Zoom party with all the local friends. And the last day was another Zoom party with all the people David grew wow. up. Wow. Uh, you know, a, a lot of events for him, which made the day really special. So I think great. a lot of people have had the most special, unique birthdays during this time. Yeah. One yeah. that you'll remember forever. That's right. Yeah, that's right. And it does bring you closer to your neighbourhood. And like you said, people around the world because of the technology that we have and we get to connect today like I love I love Zoom I think Zoom is so cool <laughs> yeah absolutely yeah it's it's and now that we've done it you know we need to continue doing it so I, we need to continue having little you know Zoom get-togethers you know once a month once a once every three yeah. months whatever with all of those friends around the planet before then you know we'd make the odd phone call we'd send cards but I think this is much more immediate you know so yeah. Hopefully you that will actually, continue. You can absolutely have an online party. It's so much fun. Yeah, isn't it? yeah. We've we've done we've done board games online with friends. You know, played a game called Tip of Your Tongue, which is real fun. The girls against the boys, and the girls won twice. So that was good. I love it. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Um, did anything surprise you during this time, Annie? Um, I think how self sufficient we were when i say we i'm to, i am talking about my husband and i you know we we there were there was sometimes when all week all we really had was each other and, and in, in communication and we were amazed at how self-sufficient we we were and how content we were in our bubble um we didn't you know we didn't um go nuts i mean some people have gone have, have you know been saying oh, I'm going crazy. There's nothing to do, but we just found so much to do, and we still are finding so much to do. And we enjoy, you know, the 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 time that we've had, and and you know, things that we've got around to doing that we've been putting off for years. Even something simple like sorting out the linen cupboard has been done, you know. So, <laughs> so that's good. Good on you, Annie. And now that this is almost over, mm -hmm. what are you most looking forward to on the other side? 
I guess I'm looking forward to starting back on my photographic journey. Um, as I said, I've got people now ringing me to, to book in. I've got, um, you know, two or three jobs booked in this week, some more booked in for the week, the week after. So, right. you know, things are looking up from that point of view. Um, I doubt if the events, the actual physical events are going to come back for a while. Um, and, and I do do a lot of that photography, you know, I photograph the various chamber of commerce events, um, all, all sorts of things. And, and, you know, things like the Women of Influence. Um, and I look forward to when they come back. And I think we're all going to really relish them so much more now when they do come back in the future. But, you know, we have to be sensible. We have to follow the rules and we all have to stay safe at this time because it's just, I mean, Australia has done remarkably well. When you see what's been going on, you know, as I said, I've been talking to people in the UK and in the States. The States, well, I mean, it's mind boggling what's been going on. Um, but we're not out of the woods yet. So I think that, um, you know, we have to abide by some of the rules. But I find that, um, you know, with what I do, it's not difficult for me to be able to keep my social distancing. I just I'm not as touchy-feely as I normally am. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So anyone out there listening who, you know, wants to refresh their branding or have a new profile picture or start, you know, get getting back out there promoting your business, Annie's oh. ready and waiting for you. She's got a new studio. She's That's excited. And, and the other thing I've been doing is I've been making these virtual backgrounds for many of my clients, so which look really professional, um, you know, to have that professional edge. And it also covers up a messy room. If you've got a messy room at home, you don't need to show it. You can have your virtual background up. So um, so I've done quite a lot of those for, for various okay. clients, and that's, that's still ongoing. I'm still doing that work, yeah. Fantastic. Um, well, thank you, Annie. Uh, it's been really lovely interviewing you and hearing what you've been up to and all your pearls of wisdom. I really enjoy, I really agree with a lot of what you've said and I really, um, I wish you all the best and I, I really hope that, you know, our events and everything can come back when it's safe to do so, of course. Absolutely. I will look forward to it. Thank you, Annie. Thank and you so much, Jodie. Lovely to see you. See you soon. Okay. Bye.